So I will describe a few applications of modular arithmetic. From the previous videos, we discovered that the following statements are equivalent. A is congruent to R modulo N if and only if A minus R divided by N is equal to Q. So this means N divides A minus R exactly. That's the meaning of that. But this is also equivalent to this statement. This is the statement behind your your Euclidean division theorem. So this is also equivalent to your Euclidean division theorem, which means that if A is congruent to R modulo N, then A is equal to A is equal to N times Q plus R. For most students, it is convenient for them to look at R as the remainder when A is divided by N. And so from time to time, we go to these statements to help us evaluate congruence modulo N arithmetic. So when you find yourself not quick to move forward in solving or doing modulo arithmetic, what you do is you pick any of these statements and use them to evaluate or perform modulo N arithmetic. Okay, so this is what I will do. I will compare how we count elements in the set of integers and how we count it under modulo N arithmetic. So with the set of integers, uh, beginning with zero, the way we count it is we add one. We begin with zero, then we, we add one, one. We add one again, that's two. We add one again, that's three, so on and so forth. This goes on to infinity. Now, we shall count these integers again, but this time under congruence modulo 2. So, 0 is 0 under congruence modulo 2. 1 is congruent to 1 modulo 2. But what about 2? How do we count 2 under congruence modulo 2? Well, 2 is congruent to 0 modulo 2. Because when we divide 2 by 2, the remainder is 0. For 3, it's going to be 1. We shall count it as 1 because when we divide 3 by 2, the remainder is 1. 4, under congruence modulo 2, we count it as 0. So it's, it's going to be this way. Okay, So in ordinary set of integers, in the set of integers, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. But counting for congruence for modulo 2 arithmetic is going to be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, so on and so forth. It's the same with, with congruence modulo 3 or modulo 3 arithmetic. 0 is congruent to 0, 1 is congruent to 1, 2 is congruent to 2, okay? But when we go to 3, we count 3 as, we count 3 as 0 in modulo 3 arithmetic. Because when we divide 3 by 3, the remainder is 0. 4 is 1. 5 is 2. Why 2? Because when we divide 5 by 3, the remainder is 2. So on and so forth. So the difference between the set of integers and the set of integers that is contained in this set is under modulo n arithmetic. When we count elements, we repeat, there is a cycle, it is cyclic. And that is what we see when we are naming the days of the day in a week. Okay, so Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so on and so forth. After Sunday, we don't have another day. We don't have a different name for the day after Sunday. We begin again with Monday. How we name the days of the week is comparable with with a modulo n arithmetic. There is a cycle into it. So we can apply modulo n arithmetic to the days of the week. Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2, uh, Wednesday is 3. Okay, when we go to Sunday, Sunday is 7, or we can also make it a 0. And then after Sunday, we begin with 1 again. 
and one is, again, we understood it to be the first day of the week. We also see modulo and arithmetic in reading a clock, the 12-hour clock. After one revolution, after one revolution, we begin with one o'clock again. After another revolution, we begin with one o'clock again. So we don't go on counting the hours up to infinity. We do it in cycles. We also see this in military time. So instead of a cycle of 12 hours, we have a cycle of 24 hours. We also do modulo and arithmetic when we are naming the months in a year. So we begin with January. We call it, or we can give it an integer name, okay, 1, February is 2, so on and so forth. When we go to December, that is the 12th month, and then we begin again from the start. So whenever you have this thing, uh, like a, a phenomena, a human activity that, that runs in cycles, we can count the processes that are involved there, and the manner of counting is cyclic. And it is comparable with how we do modulo and arithmetic.